everyone, it's Hannah and it's time for the Crazy Blessed Bible Study and I'm going to share with you the one word, wait that's two, the one word that destroys everything. I guarantee it's the reason you're having money problems, it's the reason your house is disorganized, it's the reason your marriage is not where it needs to be. It's, if you are having problems in your life, I don't care what area it's in, if you're having problems in your life, I guarantee it is because of this one word. And I'm gonna share with you what that one word is. First of all, look at this. My dog, yeah, on the white sofa. He was playing in the lake. This is my life. If you're a mom, you get this. Like I have seven kids, bunch of dogs. That's just life. But I gotta share with you this one word. Now, before I share with you this one word, I wanna read to you um, this story in the Bible in my trusty duct tape covered Bible here. And he used this one word. That was his only response. He used this one word and it yielded so much trouble for him. And I'm talking about the Pharaoh, the Pharaoh. Yes. So we're in Exodus and it's chapter eight. So here's what's going on. Let me give you a little backstory. The, um, you know about the plagues, right? Like Moses is like my people go and, and the Pharaoh's like, I ain't gonna let your people go. And he's like, if you don't let my people go, you're gonna have some trouble. There's gonna be some plagues. You're gonna have all these locusts coming on eating your crops. You're gonna have darkness. You're gonna have, um, diseases. You're gonna have like all these plagues, right? You get what I'm talking about, right? Remember that? Okay. Well, it was this one plague. And it was the plague of frogs. Do you remember that? Do you remember learning about that at church or whatever? It, one of these plagues was frogs and it's so gross. Y'all, it is so gross. Like, and, and it even said here, like frogs were, it said frogs were in their, in their beds and their pots, climbing in through their windows, through their doors. Frogs were everywhere. That's what it says. It's right here, chapter eight, Exodus eight. Verse three, the river shall swarm with frogs, which shall go up and come into your house, into your bedchambers, on your bed and into the houses of your servants and upon your people and into your ovens and your kneading bowls and your dough. Could you imagine your dough? Like here you are kneading dough and there's a frog in it. Like here you are wanting to climb into bed and there's a frog in the bed. Like, ah, it's so gross. <laughs> like, you know, God's creative. When he's like, hmm, what's really nasty? I got it. Frogs. <laughs> like so gross. Anyway, it was during this one plague and the Pharaoh called in Moses and he's like, oh my gosh, I can't. Like I can't even with these frogs. I don't think he said I can't even with these frogs, but you get it, right? He was like, take like fine. Okay. I get these frogs out of here. Just I'll let you go. I'll let you and your people go. Just get these frogs out of here. And then this crazy thing happened. Let me show you. So I'm going to read it like literally in, Mo in Moses, in Exodus 8, verse 9. Moses said to Pharaoh, glory over me in this, dictate when, okay, first of all, Pharaoh said, Pharaoh called for Moses, verse 8, entreat the Lord that he may take away the frogs from me and my people, and I will let the people go that they may sacrifice to the Lord. He's like, please get these frogs out of here. Then Moses says in verse 9, Glory over me in this. Dictate when I shall pray to the Lord for you, your servants and your people, that the frogs may be destroyed from you in your houses and remain only in the river. All right, backstory. Ready? This is going to blow your mind. Pharaoh's like, look, get rid of these frogs. Moses said, okay, tell me when to get rid of them. And then in verse 10, Exodus 8, verse 10, and Pharaoh said, tomorrow. That was his one word response. Pharaoh said, tomorrow. And Moses said, let it be as you say, that you may know that there is no one like the Lord our God. That was his only word response. So can you answer me this? Okay, answer me this one crazy riddle. He's tormented by frogs. He hates it. They're horrible. They're in his bed. They're climbing up his legs. Whoa. They're in his food. They're everywhere. It's disgusting. He's like, ah, get rid of these frogs. And he's like, all right, tell me when to get rid of them. He's like, it's so gross. It's so gross. Get rid of them tomorrow. 
tomorrow? Like, why not right now? Why not right this second? Because, hey, all I have to do is say, hey, God, get rid of the frogs. They're gone. Why? Why would Pharaoh say tomorrow? If he's fed up with it, if he can't take it anymore, if he doesn't want to tolerate one more second of it, why would he say tomorrow? Well, why do we say tomorrow? Think about it. When am I finally going to get my budget under control? When am I finally going to stop eating all this crap and start getting my body back? When am I going to quit yelling at my kids? When am I finally going to get this house in order, start decluttering the stuff? Oh, tomorrow. Have you ever thought about it? We have the power. I got the power. We have that power to take authority over our lives, over our homes, over our money, over our families, over our bodies. We have that authority. God said, all power I give you. That's, that's, that's what Jesus said. He said, all the power I give you. He gave us the authority to operate with his life-changing power. And then we say, I'll do it tomorrow. And one more day, we tolerate the financial destruction. We tolerate that stack of bills. We tolerate all that extra weight around our belly. We tolerate breathing hard as we go up the stairs. We tolerate our kids yelling at us and us yelling at our kids. We tolerate all the piles of laundry in the corner and all the crap that's fallen out of the garage. We tolerate the, the marriage that has no passion. We tolerate it because we always think, oh, I can get by another day and I'll do something about it eventually. This, this is the huge delusion. This is the grand delusion, y'all. I'll just tolerate it because eventually I'll do something about it. I want to ask you something. How long are you going to tolerate it? How long? Like, when will enough be enough? When will, when will you finally get so sick of it that you're ready to do it now? Eventually, that, that's where I had to get. That's, that's the spot I had to get to. Like, I finally had to get so sick of all the clutter in my house, so sick of all the extra weight, so sick of being sick all the time, so sick of being tired, so sick of being overwhelmed with depression and anxiety. I finally had to get so sick of myself. Like, you know you're growing when you finally get sick of taking your own crap. I got so sick of it. I was like, no, I'm doing it now. And you know where I started? You want to know the life-changing moment that it started for me? I will tell you. I was sitting, no, more like crumpled over in a pile of laundry on like seven loads that I had just dumped on the floor waiting to be folded. And I was sobbing. I was so overwhelmed and I was like, my, I don't have any money. I'm broke. I'm overweight. I'm out of shape. I'm depressed. I, my, the house is cluttered. And finally I heard the voice of God saying, get up and fold your laundry. That was the life changing moment. Fold your laundry, girl. That's what I heard. And I had been saying tomorrow, later, eventually, so often it became the way I lived. Just like Pharaoh, I'll just deal with this one more day. Well, the deal is with me and you, one more day yields to another day and it yields to another day and it yields to another day and eventually you wind up dead, your life is over, dreams left unfulfilled, goals left unmet, your vision that God created you for to establish on this earth, nothing happens with it. I'm just, I'm just laying down truth right now. And if you want to pick up what I'm laying down, that is fine with me because I'm telling you, you have a purpose. You have a life. God has an incredible design for your life. But if you continue to say tomorrow, 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 I love you tomorrow. No, Get over it. This, your life is not a Broadway musical, okay? And you don't have a curly red wig, or maybe you do, and that's your business. But 
you got to understand there's no magic in tomorrow. And you can love tomorrow as much as, as much as you want and sing about it, but nothing is going to change in your life until you say now, now, now I'm going to go wash all those dishes in the sink. And I want to hear from you. If that's your, go look in your kitchen sink. If there's some dirty dishes stacked up in there, that's your first spot. Do you have a pile of laundry that you have not folded or you have, or maybe folded? You did not put it away. Girl, I'm reading your mail now. That's where you start. Do you have a relationship you need to mend right now with one of your kids or your spouse? If you do, that's where you start. It's not tomorrow. Okay, so quit living by this delusion that you have all the time in the world. There's this urgency. If you want to create the life that God designed you for, it happens when you finally get to that spot that you don't tolerate your crap enough, that you no longer tolerate it, and you say, now, now I'm going to do it. Now I'm putting my hand to it. In Deuteronomy 28, it says, everything we put our hand to will prosper. The problem is, You wait till tomorrow to put your hand to it. And then tomorrow comes and you wait till tomorrow to put your hand to it. And then tomorrow comes and you wait till tomorrow to put your hand to it. And then tomorrow comes, you dig, you get it. You understand where I'm coming from. There's no magic in tomorrow. The magic is now. It's accessible now. Right at your fingertips, I promise you, right at your fingertips is your budgeting app that you need to get set up. Right at your fingertips are are the bills that you need to pay. Right at your fingertips are the dishes you need to wash. Right at your fingertips is your phone that you're probably holding right now that could be used to make client calls to build your business or to reach out to someone that you need to forgive and heal a relationship. That is now. Not tomorrow, but now. It is right at your fingertips. Everything you put your hand to will prosper. So put your hand to it now so you can prosper. Because if you wait till tomorrow, guess what? It bleeds into the next day and the next. And that is the one word that is destroying your life. It's a delusion. There is no tomorrow. And I know sometimes we're like, well, Hannah, you know, just, I got so many problems. Like, what is folding the laundry going to do? Well, for me, it completely transformed my life. Deciding I'm not going to put it off, but I'm going to take action now, completely transform my life. It started by getting my house in order, by getting my money in order, by getting my body in order. And then I started growing a business. And then I started hitting six figures. Now I'm seven figures. Like that's where it starts. But you can't get here and all of a sudden, this is, this is not where tomorrow is. This is that incremental step when you continue to take the steps now, 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 now. It doesn't, there's not this magic, you know, propelling motion that all of a sudden your desires met and all of a sudden your dreams are fulfilled and all of a sudden you are exactly where you've been wanting to be forever. That's not the magic. It's now. Do it now. There is something right in front of you. Tell me what that is. Leave a comment. Tell me what that is. What is it right before you? And you know what it is. There's not a question of, I don't know what step to take. Like Pharaoh knew. All I have to do is tell Moses, like, go ahead, pray. (laughs) Get rid of these frogs. He knew. You know what to do. Problem is, you don't want to do it. Well, can I give you a little insider information here? The people that are living the lives you want to live, are simply doing the things that you don't want to do. It's true. How bad do you want that life? Because if you want that life, you'll quit tolerating your own crap and you'll take action now. Yeah, start with making your bed every day. Perfect place to start. But whatever it is, it's right in front of you. Don't delude yourself and think, well, I don't know the next step to take. Yeah, you do. It's just so small, you think it doesn't matter. But it's a big step. Yeah, your laundry, your bed, deciding to put on your shoes and go out for a walk instead of sit on the sofa. What is that step that you think is so small it doesn't matter, but it's right in front of you and God's like, do this next step. This next step. Just do it and do it now. And then watch where it leads you. That's where the miracles happen. I'm so proud of you. You got this. You got this. Okay. Do it now. 
Now, I do want to tell you, if you are listening to this live, I am having, if you're interested in like actually learning the steps that I took to get where I am today, like I took me 10 years, (laughs) y'all. I don't want it to take you 10 years and I'm sharing in a class tonight. I believe it's called moms3secrets.com. Moms3secrets.com. I'll put it in the I'll put in the thing. So if you haven't registered for that, register for that. I'm just going to walk. It's probably going to take like a couple hours, but it's a couple hours that could change your life. I'm going to show you exactly how I did it. Okay. So that you can avoid 10 years and we can get to it quicker. But like I said, you, you can't wait on this. I'm doing it today. Do it now. Go there, get registered, and I'll see you tonight. Okay. I love you so much. Share this with the mom you know. And please... For crying out loud, (laughs) don't be like Pharaoh. Do it now. Hey guys, do you want to get the book that started it all? Crazy blessed. This is awesomeness right here. Super easy. All you have to do is two things. Step one, subscribe to my YouTube channel. And after you subscribe, step two, make sure you text HKYouTube to 31996. That's HKYouTube. 31996 after you subscribe and I'll get this book to you right away.